The Bible says the righteous live by faith. And what that means is more than what most people think it means. When you live by faith, you are forever willing to go where you know you cannot go except that the God who sends you delivers you through it. The one time in our life the Lord dealt with me to order a whole semi-trailer load of Christmas wrapping paper. I did not have a clue what I was going to do with it. I did not have a clue how I would pay for it. I called the person that had it for sale. Donnie Meisler. You've seen his trailers. Meisler trailers. I called him and I said, this is Mike Douglas. You don't know me. But I would like to buy a load of paper. He said, well, we don't sell it by the load. I said, how do you sell it? He said, well, we sell it by the roll. I said, well, how many rolls are in a case? He said, it depends on the size of the roll. He said, how many cases are in a trailer? He said, it depends on the size of the rolls that are in the case. And inside, I'm just about to come undone. Because all I know is I'm supposed to buy a load, a whole load of paper. And I don't know how. And I don't know how I'm going to pay for it. I don't know how, and I don't know why. None of us is making any sense at all. We've just begun in business. And I know that if we don't do something stupid, we're going to make it. But if we make one giant decision and it's wrong, I know it can all be lost. Most businesses that begin fail. Did you know that in the first year? Most of them don't make it. <clears throat> Finally, I said, how many sizes do you have? He said, we have four sizes. I said, how much are they? And I wrote them down. And I hung up the phone. And I was as desperate, I think, as I've ever been in my life. And I'm sitting at my desk and I'm praying. I said, Jesus, you got me into this. And I don't know what to do. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and prayed. And finally, after days, God put numbers in my head. And I, I called him and I didn't know how I was going to pay for it. <coughs> my mom said to me, son, are you going to buy a load of wrapping paper? I said, yes, mom. The Lord help and I am. She said, son, is God really in this? I said, mom, if God's ever been in anything, he's in this. She said, son, if God's really in this. See, she's not giving me any wiggle room. She said, son, if God's really in this, I've got some money I've been saving for my retirement. And I'll let you have it. And I thought, oh, my God. The stakes on all this just went up. And God put numbers in my heart. And so I called Donnie Meister. I said, Donnie, this is Mike Douglas. I'd like 2,998 of this. And so many thousand. And so, they were all odd numbers. And he said, boy, it's going to take me a while to get this together. And I said, okay. I knew how much it was going to be because I'd done the math. He said, what are you going to do with the trailer? I said, I don't. He said, How are you, where are you going to put it? And I said, I don't know. He said, Well, we've got trailers that you can rent, but where would you put it? And I said, I don't know. Finally, he said, Well, I said, I guess I could put it in the backyard. And so the day he came, he came back in up our driveway. And I held up the light electric line with a with a push broom to get the semi under it. And when he got out, I'll never forget the words he said. The very first word he said to me, he said, I'll tell you one thing. If you had ordered one more roll, I would have had to put it in the cab with me because the truck is full. And when he opened the doors, three big cases fell out on the ground. He had packed it floor to ceiling. And for the first time, I felt encouragement because God knows how many jelly beans there are, are in the bowl, you know. He knows how many rolls. The guy that had it didn't know how many it would, but God knew. When we walk by faith, it doesn't mean that we're always doing foolish things. 
It, but what it does mean is that we walk under the direction of Almighty God. And when you walk under the direction of Almighty God, you cannot lean to your own understanding. Your own understanding will continually cause you to miss what God's trying to do through you. You'll miss it every time. If you wait for your understanding, if you wait for it to make sense, if you wait for the committee to move, if you wait for everybody to say, oh, that sounds wonderful, you'll miss it. And the Bible says the righteous are those who are living by faith. Not once, not twice, but are living. It is a way of life. <laughs> the Lord sent some ladies to help me. And they said, what do you want to do with this? I said, I don't know what to do with it. I bought it. I've spent my mother's retirement <laughs> money. I've got a semi-trailer in the backyard. And it's so full that I can't get the three cases that fell out. I can't get them back in. And I don't know what I'm going to do. And I don't know why. Because when God leads, He doesn't usually tell you why. You may think you know why. And you may find comfort in, oh, I know what God's doing. Do you really? Good luck. And so I was praying about what to do with it. And the Lord put it in my heart. To, to, to the, what, what was happening is the paper was bad. Not the paper was bad. The shrink wrap was bad. The paper was good. So I had these ladies. We stripped out our back room. We brought in three cases. We had to do something with them. And we went over and we made sure they were okay. And we re-wrapped them and put them up a little bit and reboxed them. I said, Lord, I don't know what to do now. I mean, what do I do? And the, Lord's, the Lord told me to go to Beeler's. It's spelled Bueller's, but they say Bueller's. So I went in and I went to the Bueller's in Princeton and I asked for the manager. And the manager was a, was real uh, high energy. And I knew I was only going to have seconds with him. Because he, I, his attention is going. And, and I said, excuse me, sir, could, could I talk to you about some wrapping paper? He said, wrapping paper? We don't carry wrapping paper. And I'm about to lose him. And I said, well, I understand that. That's why I'm here. And he stopped and looked at him a minute. And I explained to him the money that could be made. And because he, people aren't accustomed to it, it'll be an impulse buy. And I don't know what I said to him, but it was the, the Lord convinced him. And so he ordered us an amount. There's several hundred dollars worth. And I was so happy. I owe my mama thousands, but the first couple hundred. And you know what grocery stores do? They pay you in cash. It's just a point of interest. So I walk out with cash. Ones and fives and tens. It's a lot more than it really is. It feels like it. I said, Lord, what do I do? He said, go to Oakland City. To Beavers. It's okay. So I had it in a trailer and I drove up to the Beavers in Oakland City. I said, can I speak to the manager? Here he comes. All of them are wired. <laughs> I said, can I speak to you just a second about wrapping paper? Wrapping paper, we don't carry wrapping paper. Well, I know that's why I'm here. Well, we wouldn't be interested. I said, really? I'm kind of surprised. He looks at me a lot. I said, the manager in Princeton, he said, how much did he order? <laughs> and I told him, he said, well, I won't take it. He was always bigger. I said, Lord, thank you, Lord. Now my trailer's empty. So we go home and load it up. My 12-foot trailer, not the semi-trailer. It's still got plenty. <laughs> I said, Lord, where do I go? Where do I do? He said, go to Jasper. I said, oh, I went to Jasper. Went in the Beelers. I said, can I sit to the manager? Can you, can he, they come. He's wired too. I said, I'd like to talk about some red bear. We don't care. Right? I know you don't. That's why I'm here. Well, I don't think we'd be interested. Really? I'm kind of surprised. Really? Why are you surprised? I said, well, the, the, the manager in Princeton, he, he was the first order. The, then, 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 then the guy in Oakland City, he, how much did they order? So I told him, oh, well, we'll have to have this. It's always bigger. So I said, boy, well, I don't see if I've got that much. <laughs> yeah. And I went out and got it, and they paid me in cash. Now I'm in a van, and my pockets are going to hold it, okay? And I'm in an old green van with shag carpet inside. And so I don't know what to do with the money, so I start stuffing it under the cavity, under the seat. You know the old vans, he had like a cavity, and you could hide your oil or whatever. 
I've got, I've got wads of money stuffed up under my seat. I drive and I'd go back and I'd get another load. Where do I go, Lord? Tell City. Okay. My faith is getting stronger, you know it? I'll hit a groove here. And so we, by the time it was finished, because of the Lord, not because of me, I paid my mom back in full in 30 days. No more debt. And from that time on, now the money is coming in and now it's coming in thousands of dollars at a time. And it starts to dawn on me, Lord, what are you doing? I mean, this was kind of a bizarre thing to do. And now the bills are paid. My mom is paid. What do you want me to do with this money? Because I had a feeling that it wasn't my money. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. Well, about that time, we get the word that the Lord is sending us a pastor. We've never had a pastor. That he's coming from Muskegon, Michigan. And one of the things that Reverend Helm had encouraged him to do as soon as he got here to get on the radio. Did I mention that the church had two men and some ladies and a bunch of little kids and the Lord told Brother Him that he was to get on the radio. We don't know where he's going to stay. We don't know how he's going to pay him. Get on the radio. Well, because of God, because of Jesus, I went with him to the radio station in Evansville 1330, which is uh, whatever the VHR, whatever the call letters are. And it was JPS, yeah, long ago, but it was a Christian by then. And we talked to the guy, and the guy says, you know, we've got a radio spot that just opened. And it's a five-minute spot. That's what Pastor Dan had in his heart. And to the glory of God, when we didn't know how we were going to pay him, the Lord provided the first six months of radio time. And it came because God moves in a way that's just sometimes almost bizarre. Because He can see ways to do things that you and I never <coughs> would really have think, seen or thought about. And by the way, just a point of interest. There was still wrapping paper left. And so I started going around to gift shops. I found out that every gift shop owner is destitute. They don't have any money, but they got wonderful gifts and crafts. So I would go to them and I'd say, and they'd say, I'd really like to have some, but we don't have any money. I said, well, that's okay. I didn't come for your money. They said, what? I said, yeah, how about taking it out in trade? I'll give you this at full price for the things in there. And so that year at Christmas, our family got gifts they have never received the quality since. Because <laughs> I would imagine going to a gift shop and I'll take one of these and one of these and one of these and one of these. Some of those are still hanging on the walls today. The important thing, though, the important thing to get out of all of this is the ways of God are not our ways. His ways are higher. And our ways and his ways are past finding out. And your own intellect will keep you from what God's doing, not get you towards it. 